What's up, everybody? It's edition number three of Tuesday Insights, and I've been enjoying doing these. I'm probably going to post them all to YouTube so you can archive them. I've been having trouble getting them up to the uh, IGTV. But one of the things I want to start with is this. I used to carry around a clipboard with blank sheets of paper just in case whenever I had ideas, I would write them down. And I got away from that. So, and there goes Emma. I actually wants to get to the phone. Hold on, baby. So, I'm getting back to that. And that's today, I have some notes. So the thoughts, you got to remember the thoughts that you have, creative ideas, inspirations, you're not going to remember them. Write them down. It's not the same as typing them in your phone. Doing that's better than nothing. You have a much more emotional connection when you use your hands and write cursive to write down what it is that you're thinking about. Okay, there she goes. Now, so that's the first thing, pen and paper. You should have a notebook with you at all times and a pen with you at all times. Options. I had a good uh, mind map with a the, with the friend yesterday. You gotta remember that options, or perception of options, you always do have options, will always lower your level of threat. Now, these could be options like, okay, I want to leave this within six months. Nobody else has to notice stuff. But when you're backed into a corner and you feel trapped like most people, level of threat goes up. So you always got to give yourself options. Okay? Enthusiasm will lead. Hold on, boys. Enthusiasm will lead to energy. Energy is the number one asset that we have. One second. Daddy, yes. All right. I'll be there in two minutes. Go around this way. So energy. You drive energy through enthusiasm. If you're not enthusiastic about whatever it is that you're doing, you're not going to have the energy. You're going to go through the motions. So entheos. I wrote that word down. And given the, the, the free time you have to the pursuit of your dreams is critical. If you're not willing to devote some of your free time to your dreams to work on them, you don't deserve it. You don't deserve those dreams to come true. It's not just going to happen. If you'd rather go home, kick your feet up, watch Netflix for hours on end, that's on you. So you have to be willing to devote some of your free time to the pursuit of your dreams. Nostalgia. So my mom and dad are moving. They've been cleaning out everything, coming across toys that I had from the 1980s, Battle Beasts, Battle Toads, Army Ants, Dick Tracy figures, Garbage Pail Kid cards. Nostalgia, if you find things just like Hebb's Law with music, what gets fired together gets wired together. When you can have nostalgia, and it could be just holding a toy that you used to have as a kid that you still have. I got my old lunchbox over there, Mad Balls lunchbox. It's a way to instantly make you feel good. Things that we're nostalgic about bring back positive memories. So use that to your advantage. Ordinary men, this was a thought I had today, hate solitude. They don't like being by themselves. When you don't realize you're connected to everything, then you freak out when you're by yourself. But when you're by yourself, that's when inspirations come, when you can quiet down, slow things down. But ordinary men hate solitude. Ordinary men hate solitude. Something for you to think about. Or women, whatever. You know what I mean. And lastly, uh, people always ask me about a morning routine. <clears throat> and I'm going to put that in a planner I'm working on. But a real simple way that you, you got to think of when you get up is you got to get your hands or your feet involved as fast as you can because they're so wired into your nervous system and your brain. So how do you do that? Uh, it could be cursive writing. You be writing with your opposite hand. I do these toe exercises. Or maybe I'll make a, a, uh, another video on maybe later in the week but that I, I learned from a doctor. I've been doing these toe exercises to get more control of my, my toes. Uh, I do the mallet drills. So the camera is resting on my mallets right now. I hit the golf ball. You'll probably see me doing that back and forth. Okay. Walking, that's getting your feet involved. But get up, get your hands and feet involved, even if it's just for two to five minutes. It's 
It's going to make a big difference as far as engaging your brain. Most important takeaway I think you can take, get your notebook. I like my old clipboard from when I was a phys ed teacher. If you look here, look, and I have affirmations from way back when I was doing this, but Mr. Newell, PE teacher. But use a notebook, use a pen, carry it around with you. Don't let your ideas and your dreams escape because you're not going to remember them. The worst pencil is better than the best memory. Remember that. All right, hit the like button if you liked it. Leave a comment if you liked it. Or if you have a comment, tomorrow night, Weird Wednesday, I'll be back with the flashlight. I'm going to have a good, uh, true uh, cryptozoology thing to talk about tomorrow night. Peace.